Hello, this is video 4 of 2402 lecture. This is the small intestine uh, portion of the digestive system. So, what do we got? Uh, major digestive organ, right? So that means that you're going to do, this is where most of the chemical break, chemical digestion and absorption takes place. Lots of propulsion, lots of, um, uh, you know, mixing of the, of the chyme. Most of the enzymes are re are received from the pancreas and then a lot of bile comes from the uh, liver and gallbladder but the small intestine makes a few enzymes of its own and also produces a lot of other stuff to help uh, absorb food and move food along here's the three regions uh, in order duodenum jejunum ileum if you add that up uh, that's like uh, over uh, six meters which is like close to 20 feet long so it's a really long tube that uh, starts after your stomach and ends right before your large intestine. So the, the uh, pyloric sphincter of the stomach is kind of the opening entrance door. And then the ileocecal sphincter is the exit door. Microscopically, you've seen the walls of an intestine before. They have these little finger-like projections. These are called villi. So this is a villus. The microvilli, you can see this little zoom in right there. The microvilli are little extension, cytoplasmic extensions of the cells themselves, that, the epithelial cells, these uh, simple cuboidal epithelium, if you remember, uh, that make up the wall of the intestine. So both of them are for uh, increasing surface area. The more surface area you have, the more of stuff you can absorb and secrete. Intestinal crypts are these little depressions in, it's kind of like a reverse villus, right? Kind of like a little pit into the, uh, into the um, mucosa and submucosa. Uh, cells that are in there uh, are listed here. Uh, let's see what we got. Anything interesting? Enteroendocrine, enter, bleh, easy for me to say. Enteroendocrine cells produce that uh, enteropeptidase, if you remember that stuff right there. Uh, there are cells called panis cells, which are going to be, they produce an antimicrobial enzyme. And stem cells, which lie deep, these stem cells are going to conduct this rapid mitosis to form lots of the other cells that make up the, um, the small intestine surface because it's a kind of a rough environment. you got to have a massive production of replacements. There is mucosal-associated lymphoid tissue including Peyer's patches, which are specific ones in the ileum, but they're scattered throughout. You have glands in the duodenum that produce an alkaline mucus. And all the stuff that the intestines produce is called intestine, intestinal juice. It's uh, slightly basic. It's isotonic, same amount of dissolved things as, as your blood does. And it's pretty watery and mucousy. Doesn't do a whole lot of specific digestive jobs. I should strike that, doesn't do a lot of enzymatic jobs. Its whole job is, in, is digestion. All right, what occurs? Well, you get bile and some enzymes from the liver and pancreas, as I mentioned. The stuff that comes in is called chyme, and it comes in in little squirts, uh, three milliliters, I don't think I've written that anywhere, but it's tiny little squirts, very hypertonic, so you you want if you dumped too much in there you'd have some massive water balance problems so you only have to secrete it into the intestine in very small amounts so you can kind of extract what you need uh, segmentation is the breaking up of the food of the chyme i should say peristalsis is the continuous movement along mm, la 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 ileocecal sphincter uh, there's that there's that hepatic portal system I talked about earlier so the the veins that drain the intestine and the stomach and the large intestine uh, form this hepatic portal system, which go to the liver via that hepatic portal vein. If you remember uh, from the uh, endocrine, sorry, uh, a previous chapter, I don't remember when we talked, oh, the lymphoid system. So remember these lacteals right here. So these lacteals, the green thing in the middle, these lacteals are extensions of the lymphatic system whose job it is, is to absorb uh, lipids right here. So the other nutrients go directly into the bloodstream and go to the hepatic portal system. Lipids specifically 
get absorbed by lacteals, circulated through the cardiovascular system, and then processed ultimately by the liver. All right, that is episode four. Number five is the last one.